We have theorems involving linear dependence and independence that you should know. There are a few of them, so I've tried to organize them a little. In this video, we'll look at two theorems, both of which involve the zero vector in some way. We'll start here. Any set of vectors containing the zero vector is linearly dependent. And we can prove that. Let's look at a set of vectors containing the zero vector, and that show that it's linearly dependent. To be linearly dependent, there have to be numbers, at least one of which is not zero, such that this linear combination is zero. That is to say, in order to be linearly dependent, there has to be a non-trivial combination of these vectors that equals the zero vector. In order for this to be non-trivial, we only need one of the coefficients to not be a zero. That gives us a real easy way to do this. Make the coefficient in front of the zero vector not be zero, while all of the other coefficients are zero. This linear combination equals zero. It's non-trivial. So this set is linearly dependent. The next theorem is a bit of a sequel to this. At least it's related. A single vector set is linearly dependent if and only if that vector is the zero vector. And let's prove this as well. We've already gone in one direction. If this vector is the zero vector, then the set containing it is linearly dependent according to this theorem. Any set containing the zero vector is linearly dependent. So let's now go the other way. Say that this set is linearly dependent. Well, with a single vector in the set, a linear combination looks like this. And to be dependent, there has to be a non-trivial linear combination where this coefficient is not zero. Well, if this coefficient is not zero, we can perform scalar multiplication by its reciprocal. This one over C and this C cancels. 
one over c times the zero vector is still the zero vector. If this set is dependent, v is the zero vector. And those are the two theorems that I am going to look at in this video.